We're going to do the inferior superior projection of the shoulder joint, also known as the Lawrence method. And what works best in this room is to have the patient to the edge of the table here. Bring your tube down so you do have it beside the table. And you'll be able to bring the patient's arm out from the side so that the central ray is shooting up directly into the armpit. So this is often known as the axillary projection, but actually it's going in inferior central ray will be exiting superior, so it's also known as the inferior superior. Now I'll prop the IR right beside, this edge is going to be right into the patient's neck. Okay, and have it open the collimator like just enough so that you can see that the central ray is going to be on the IR. Okay, now you can either prop the cassette by putting a weight. I've got the sandbag directly behind there. I have had patients that were able to hold it and they would do it that way as well. But just make sure that the cassette is good and straight and not tilted. Now an, another option you can do if your patient does not have much meat on the arms, you can prop sponge up underneath that. And that helps prop up the area better away from the edge of the table. So this is our inferior superior projection, also known as the axillary or the Lawrence method. And this is showing the shoulder joint and the glenoid cavity. Next I'm going to show you the tangential method for the intertubular groove. And again, that's just evaluating that groove or depression in between the two tubercles. So we have the biceps tendon that, that actually runs through that groove. Okay, so we'll use the same method, have the cassette up here. Now the arm is not pulled out. This time the arm, turn the arm so that the hand is separated. And this is a tangential method, so we'll be actually skimming the upper border. And you can have a slight tube angle about 15 degrees down. And then you're just going to skim the very top edge of that. Now just remember that groove is going to be right in between the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle, so it's going to be cutting through right in this area. Okay, so this is the method you would use if you're wanting to evaluate the groove in between the two tubercles. Okay, 